Hey everybody, this is Morgan. So we are looking at redox reactions number three. And now we're going to be balancing these redox equations in basic solution. And there are several approaches to this. I'm just going to stick with one that I've been showing you in the room. And we'll just continue using that same one. You will be able to get correct answers with some other approaches if you happen to learn about them online. Okay, so let's break this down into half reactions. Al goes to AlOH sub 4 with a minus, and MnO4 minus goes to MnO2. Okay, now using all of the same rules that I did before one aluminum, one aluminum, one manganese, one manganese. Oxygens. Okay, so I've got four of them, so on this side I'm going to put four waters. Okay, four waters. Here, four oxygens and two, so I'm going to put two waters. Okay, now, I can't just add H pluses because this is basic. So I'm going to add a combination. That combination will be H2O and OH minus on opposite sides. I'll put the waters on the side that need hydrogen, and I'll put one water for every hydrogen that's needed. So two times four, that is eight hydrogens, and I already have four. So I'm gonna add four waters, and on the other side, four hydroxides. Two times two is four hydrogen, so I add four waters, and four hydroxides. Okay, now for my charge, the same way as before, four minus, here's a one minus, so I add three electrons. Four minus, there's one minus, I add three electrons. Oh, cool, I don't have to equalize, they already equal. They are already equal. So there we go, the electrons cancel. In fact, the four hydroxides are gonna cancel. Four and four is eight waters, four and two is six, so all six are gone leaving me with just two. So what have I got here? I've got Al plus two H2O plus MnO4 minus gives me Al OH sub four minus plus MnO2. Now, I'm gonna check to make sure the charge is the same on both sides, one minus, one minus. That should be balanced correctly. Okay, now, Let's go with our next one here. NO2 minus gives me NH3, and AL gives me ALO2 minus. One nitrogen, one nitrogen, one aluminum, one aluminum. Okay, so that's good news. Oxygens. Here's two, so I'm going to add two waters. Here's two, so I'm going to add two waters. Good so far. Now hydrogens. Two times two is four, but don't forget there's also three there, so that's seven. So I'm gonna add seven waters and seven hydroxides at the same time. Same number of waters as hydroxides, and it's always one water for each hydrogen that's needed. Okay, two times two is four hydrogens, so I add four waters and four hydroxides. Cool. Charge, ooh, seven minus and one minus. So this looks like it's gonna get six electrons. Four minus one minus, this looks like it's gonna get three electrons. Well, I will need to multiply that whole thing by two. So that gives me eight OH minus plus two times two is four waters. Two AL to give me two ALO2 minus. Two times four is eight waters. Two times three is six electrons. Okay, the six electrons can cancel the six electrons. Eight hydroxides and seven, so all seven are gone. That just leaves me with one. So four and seven, that's 11 waters. Eight and two is 10, so all 10 will cancel, leaving me with just one. Okay. So it's gonna have one more thing to cancel. I'm thinking, no, that we might be right there. I think we've got it all. So I have NO2 minus plus an OH minus 
plus a water plus two aluminums to give me two AlO2 minus NH3 and that's it. There we go. That's everything. Got it. All right, let's go on to number three. CN minus gives me CNO minus. MNO4 gives me MNO2. I've already balanced that once up here in number one. Okay, so C, C, N, N, manganese, manganese. We're good. All right. It's an oxygen, so I'm going to add a water. Four oxygens and two, so I'm going to add two waters. Now for the hydrogens, there's two. So this side, two waters. And this side, two hydroxides. Two times two is four hydrogens, none over here, so four waters. And four hydroxides. Cool. Now, for the electrons, I got a two minus and a one minus. That's three minus, only a one minus, so I add two electrons. Four minus, one minus, I add three electrons. Ooh, they don't balance. So I'm gonna have to multiply everything on the top by three and everything there by two. Now, what's that gonna end up giving me? I am gonna have six OH minus, three H2O, 3 Cn minus to give me 3 CnO minus, 2 times 3 is 6 waters, and 6 electrons. 6 electrons, 4 times 2 is 8 waters, 2 permanganates, 2 MnO2, 2 times 2 is 4 waters, and 8 hydroxides. Let's see what we can cancel here. Six electrons will cancel six electrons. Six hydroxides turns eight into two. Three and eight is 11 waters. Six and four is 10. So they're all gone on the right side, leaving me with just one. So I have three CN minus plus an H2O plus two permanganate. Give me three CNO minus plus, gone, gone two MnO2s, okay, and uh, should be two hydroxides. There we go, from right there. Let's check this out. Three minus and two minus is five minus, three minus and two minus is five minus. They're balanced, excellent. Okay, number four. Mn2 plus gives me MnO2, and H2O2 gives me H2O. One manganese, one manganese. Okay. Two oxygens means two waters. Two oxygens means I need to add another water. I'm going to just put in a two there. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. Now, hydrogens. Two times two is four. So on this side, four waters. And on this side, four hydroxides. Two times two is four. I already have two. Need two more, so two waters and two hydroxides. All right. Now, electrons. Looks like I'm going to need two over there. And I'm going to need two over there because I got a four minus and a two plus. Hey, they're the same. That's convenient. Those will cancel. Two hydroxides makes that a two. Two and two is four waters, which cancels those four and just leaves me those two. So I have Mn2 plus plus 2OH minus plus an H2O2 to give me an MnO2 and two H2Os. 2 plus and 2 minus is a zero charge, and the other side I have a zero charge, so it looks like we are balanced. All right, please note, balancing the ones in base takes a lot more time than the ones in acid. It's not harder, it's just longer, that's all. All right, thanks for tuning in. The next video will be the backside of this page.